Okay, Glass, record a video. Google has a new vision, and it's called Glass. It's the must-have tech gadget at the moment, but cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Pierre Theodore believes it can do much more. Maybe even revolutionize the way doctors perform surgery. In terms of a vision of the future, I think the future is almost limitless. Google Glass is a wearable computer configured similar to a pair of eyeglasses, but with an optical head-mounted display. So when I look at you right now, I'm seeing right through it. Nothing's displayed. When the device flips on, it takes up a small quadrant of my vision, almost like if my vision were a tic-tac-toe board, it would take one of those upper corners. But what it feels like is looking in the rearview mirror of your car. That rearview mirror is always there when I need it, but it's not there when I don't. Dr. Gross suggested Google Glass to Dr. Theodore, who used a tech device as an auxiliary tool in the operating room. He preloaded an image he needed for surgery. Not only is it truly right in front of your vision, it allows you really to not lose your concentration directly with the patient. That means that at the same time that you're interacting with the patient, you can merely change your attention ever so slightly to look at the specific images that you need to help guide therapy. Dr. Theodore believes wearable computing technology can help international medical efforts by breaking down geographic barriers and helping doctors in underserved areas. And to be able to arm them with the tool to communicate with, with uh, medical professionals so that there's an exchange of information has the potential really to, to improve, in my mind, uh, as the UCSF motto would suggest, to really advance healthcare worldwide. And this innovative use of technology has helped turn science fiction into simply science. Okay, class, record a video. And so things that, that once seemed uh, socially taboo or uh, just really out there on, on, the, on the spectrum of what's culturally acceptable have become the norm. And, and I see the same thing is, is going to happen for wearable tech.